Blind Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, is the center of our reflection today. In today's gospel, we see his story of encounter with Jesus, which changed the whole course of his life. Even after 2000 years, the story of Bartimaeus is one of inspiring and giving hope for each one of us today. Certainly, very often we had heard of the story of Bartimaeus. And for many of us, this story is just nothing more than a blind person receiving his sight. But I personally see we can learn a lot of lessons from the story of Bartimaeus. As I've been thinking of this blind person called Bartimaeus, though he was blind, first of all, he strikes me as a person of vision. A blind man being a man of vision? Yes, I personally see him as a man of vision. Bartimaeus was blind but had the vision of what God could really do to him in the desperate situation of his life. He had the vision of how God could really work in the circumstances of his life. He was definitely a man of vision to see what Jesus could do to him. Many who had sight, the crowd around Jesus, didn't have the vision that the Bartimaeus had didn't really know how God could really work in their life. Many heard Jesus, but only one called out to him. Many knew this was Jesus of Nazareth, but only one shouted, Jesus, son of David. The crowd around Jesus were just like someone hearing about Jesus, not really knowing what Jesus could be what Jesus could really mean to them in their life, but Bartimaeus did, and that is why Bartimaeus strikes me as a man of vision. My dear brothers and sisters, never underestimate what God can do to you, how God can really work in the circumstances and situations of your life, however desperate and hopeless it could be. Never underestimate what God can do with what you have been through. Billy Graham beautifully says, Don't let the circumstances of your life distress you, but learn to see the will of God in and through the circumstances of your life. If you see the will of God in your circumstances of your life, you will really see God's working in your life. And that's exactly what Bartimaeus did and that's exactly what we can learn from this blind person called Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus, besides being a man of vision, also strikes me as a man with a voice. Really knowing how God could work in his life, really knowing what Jesus could do in his life. He is vocal about what he wants from God, what he wants from Jesus. He is desperate in making himself heard by Jesus, but he isn't successful. The crowds are blocking him. There is a lot of commotion around Jesus and Jesus is quite far away from him. But still he shouts, all the louder, at the top of his voice, Jesus, son of David, I want to see, have mercy on me. He makes himself heard. Bartimaeus is a man of voice. Are we, my dear brothers and sisters, vocal about what we want from God? Are we desperate in making ourselves heard, in reaching out to God? They say persistence pays off. Jesus finally hears Bartimaeus' voice and comes to him and says, Bartimaeus, 
be of good cheer. A poor blind beggar spent his whole lifetime begging on the roadside, finding himself in the most desperate and hopeless situation of his life, hearing the words of Jesus. Simple and yet so powerful and so comforting words. Bartimaeus, be of good cheer. What kind of emotions that this blind beggar would have gone through at these words of Jesus. Bartimaeus, be of good cheer. And so it is in our life to my dear brothers and sisters. When we find ourselves in desperate and hopeless situations of our life and cry out to God, like Bartimaeus, this is exactly what we hear from God. My dear son, my dear daughter, be of good cheer. How comforting that is. The value of persistent prayer is not that God will hear us, but we finally may hear God. The Bartimaeus shouting at the top of his voice, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, I want to see. It's not that Jesus would hear him, but that finally he may hear from Jesus. Bartimaeus, be of good cheer. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect on the story of Bartimaeus, let's ask God for the grace to learn from Bartimaeus, to see God's hand at work in all the circumstances of our life, to be persistent in calling out, in reaching out to God, not that He may hear us, but finally we may hear Him telling, My dear son, my dear daughter, be of good cheer.